What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven and Stereo and in today's video we are diving back into the group We three now if you guys remember last time uh, we checked out the song Sarah super depressing super real but at the same time i feel like there was a lot of emotion to take away from that and that's why those songs are so important anytime you can listen to a song like that that you can kind of like connect yourself with it's always going to be very big even if it's difficult to like listen to it at the time um but i thought they did it a wonderful job and so i'm really excited to be diving into more of this group today we are checking out the song half-hearted this is live from the elsinore theater i want to give a huge shout out to danielle right here on patreon for actually requesting this video thank you so much for your support um i'm really excited to just see what they do here um this one is actually really new this one came out not even a month ago so i'm stoked let's do it Haven't said a word, but you know what I'm thinking. Like I know what you're thinking. That's why both of us are drinking. Can you feel it in the air? Couldn't cut it with the thread line. I'm to blame for both your wet eyes. I'm aware, but I'm too scared to fight. Oh. The fighting is dead And nobody's won So now we're just laying in We're still in the empty guns Okay, uh, <laughs> well Starting off right away To to come into a performance like this um, Very, very I think like when an artist like just right there in front of you, um, it creates such a close emotional kind of moment with them, right? It's very personal. I feel like you're you're in the personal space. And one thing about music, obviously, is we're sharing a lot of emotion a lot of the time. So this just creates that vibe in the best way. Hearing just kind of the simplicity of the um, instrumental while he's here giving this message and then one thing that i really love is the intensity picks up so strong and this dude's vocals are fucking incredible you can hear that rasp coming out you can hear that and like that's very natural like i feel like it's all connected to the emotion of the track and so when you start to hear that come in it's very overwhelming but in such an amazing way i'm really excited to see where he goes with this now for my life. god damn Oh my god can you imagine being able to do that like any part of you just being able to like wake up and and make those sounds like fuck i wish so now I'm just laying here and on the floor. oh my god i'm such a fan of that It's so beautiful. The only words you said is I like you when you hug me. Cause you kind of say you love me. Well, I've never, never loved you. But something went wrong. Like a color is faded. Can you feel oh it? Yeah, I, fuck. What's, like, the emotion in his vocal is, and I picked this up when we watched um, Sarah. So, like, I knew that he, like, had this in him. But, like, this is on a whole nother level. Like, there is something about this delivery right here. And the way, like, the three of them on stage, we three of them on stage are able to, like, all push that same message. Like, even just with, like, 
um, like facial features or expressions or like um, hearing her with those beautiful fucking just like m- harmony moments, like all of those things really do create the the impact of a performance that feels like this personal. Like, look how intimate this is. Like, so fucking close to the crowd. So good. That fucking note he hits is so good. I would also like to say that, um, I like I love a live performance. Like a good live performance is incredible, and one of the reasons is that you really get to hear just how great a band is. Um, like at music you know what i mean like you really i i'm trying to emphasize it here because like as i'm listening to this not only just with the notes but the bass um the way the drums are coming in i I think he's also like he's doing the samples and stuff and piano you know what this guy's underrated he's got the piano or the synthesizer he's got the the samples he's got everything going on over here so he's got a lot to do but listen to just how great they sound live instrumentally and that's before we get this powerhouse vocal that is happening at the same time like what did i say before 237,000 subscribers this band for how good they are i i feel like is severely underrated for just how talented they are yes Oh yeah, I'm coming in. Let's go! The fighting is through, and nobody's won. So now we're just laying here, we're steaming out the guns. I should have said a word. If you ever want to know if somebody really means what they're singing about, you watch a video like that. I believe every single word that just came out of that dude's mouth. Um. So what I pick up lyrically from this, especially just with the delivery that he gave, is this sounds like a, (laughs) it sounds like that moment where you're in this relationship that is so important to you and you have this moment um, where you don't realize this is about to happen and, and the relationship ends. And I think like he was saying, like, I should have said something, like I should have I should have tried to do whatever because what I thought in my head about this relationship is different from what we just talked about. Like your thoughts are different than mine. And because of that, like I had nothing to say and I let you like walk away or I let this love end. And in doing that, you know, we're both standing here crying. We're, we're realizing it's over, but now I'm stuck here with literally just half a heart because Obviously, I needed at least half to live, but I needed your other half to be able to really complete me and my life. So with you gone, I I got half a person and that pain is so real. And I think anyone who's ever has experienced this or is experiencing this, it's fucking real and it hurts. But what is like even more crushing to this is the way he was able to channel that emotion so that we had to feel the same thing and you hear it come out um through the verses for sure but i think the chorus is where it just like he lays it all out on the line it's almost like all those words i should have said i didn't so i'm gonna do it right here and when i hear him get those raspier vocals when i hear him really like 
like channel that aggressive note it's just like it's all heart at that point like it's just all of those feelings that he had coming out and just you know for me it would sound like vomit and for him it's this beautiful note i also love that this band because this is the second track we've listened to from them and the other one was obviously super emotional as well this is emotional on a different level but the band does such a great job when they're performing to bring these performances to to life like seeing everybody's facial expressions seeing kind of like the the mood on stage like all that stuff matters if everybody was up on stage smiling uh and singing the same song it would be pop punk and that wouldn't make any sense for this genre but in pop punk yeah you you know you sing about how broken hearted you are but everyone's smiling and eating a corn dog you know what i mean but on the in a situation like this that wouldn't make sense right we want especially with those vocals we want to see and feel those same emotions because in those moments we're not alone and anyone who's you know had moments like this know how shitty it feels to be in that situation alone so i want to give a huge shout out to danielle right here on patreon for actually requesting this honestly this band is so talented severely underrated and i kind of hope to see them start getting more and more love and traction so i'm gonna leave a link to this video in the description if you guys want to go check that out if you haven't before you should go support this band they're fucking sick all right i love you guys let me know in the comment section what you guys are thinking i'll see you in the next one peace